Hey everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to part 26 of my Discover University Let's Play here in The Sims 4. I have just started playing this, I loaded up my save and we got this terrifying message so I thought I would share it with you all. Payment due on student loans. Joanne has failed to make an on-time payment towards her student loan. Joanne has a remaining balance of 26,000 simoleons. So as you all know, I was the dum-dum who had small brain hours and decided that the university loans really weren't that expensive when I first got this expansion. And so I decided to download a mod that would make them even higher and now she's facing loans of 26,000 simoleons. The bank has extended the payment window and stresses that further non-payment will result in consequences. And I don't know if you guys know this, it might be a little tidbit unless you've watched James Turner's channel because I know he also had the small brain hours that I did and also downloaded this mod. You can actually receive the Repo Man and that's super exciting because it's kind of an NPC that we haven't really had in The Sims 4 thus far. Why did I just say thus far? I swear playing university like takes me back to like writing university essays and I talk like I would if I were writing a university essay but we're gonna ignore the payment which is terrifying. But we all know that when you finish university like the last thing you want to think about is your student debt so we're just gonna have Joanne ignore that. Also I just got new monitors so you guys are a little bit higher up on my monitor which is why like this has kind of changed like what you can see and also like it's like playing the sims on a cinema screen i'm gonna have to move it further back for sure but it feels really weird so apologies for like if i look dazzled or like awestruck at all it's like a 2k monitor and it's really bizarre hopefully it hasn't like messed up any of my recording let me know if it has also let me know how the sound is i figured in the last few parts it's been really loud especially when sims have been like talking to each other in like <laughs> large congregated groups but I don't even know how we pay our student loans. Okay, so you can make a loan payment over there. But like I said, I don't want to do it just yet because I do want to see at least the repo man turn up. And then I'm guessing we can also do it through like household maybe. Um, make a loan payment. Yeah, okay. So those are the two ways that you can do it. Everyone's kind of just chilling and Omar is actually around, which is quite cute. Sydney has just been doing some homework. I wish that we could show the baby off to him, but you need an extra space behind the baby to do that and I'm not gonna do it. But we're gonna talk about open-mindedness with Omar because if you guys remember, we haven't actually told them, our parents, that we have a baby or anything like that. So is there anything that we can do with our debate skill? We can convince to clean, cook, do homework, <laughs> do a keg stand. I was gonna see if there's like any way that we could debate because I reckon they'd be like this is not a good thing. You're in university. Why the hell did you get pregnant? And we probably do need to ask our parents for a loan at some point in time. We do have 4,000 simoleons to our name and also Joanne hasn't been to work yet. I'm kind of excited to see how the jobs work because I haven't played with any of them. I don't know if it's one way you can choose to stay at home or like they just get sent off straight away. I have no idea. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this part. We're obviously ignoring our loans and then we're also gonna invite the whole family around and like introduce them to the baby. Um, I reckon there's gonna be at least a little bit of slight falling out between them because I just think the dads will be like, why are you doing this? Like, you've literally ruined your future. Omar had a kid quite young, so he's kind of scared that it's gonna... And he's also... Even though Omar became way more chilled out throughout Hayden... <laughs> Joanne. <laughs> Joanne's feeling dazed right now. And Jamal is coming up to give the baby some attention. I think we're also gonna bottle feed it 
if that doesn't help. Oh, servos getting drunk. I don't think that servos can get pregnant, okay? I mean, they don't really have a baby. Do not flirt with my dad. Are you about to start flirting with my dad? We're gonna scan Omar for his traits and scan him for his mood. And we're also gonna give him a little flirty itch. <laughs> Your dirty girl. Oh no! Now we've got a romantic interest. I forgot that that actually happens. Oh, flat juice. Mm, yeah, this juice has been sitting a bit too long. Where's the bubbles? Servo wants bubbles. She learned that Omar is talented, sporty, and a genius. Look at him. He's like, wait, is he scanning her? That was weird. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. That was like her animation transferred over to him. That was very, very strange. Oh, that is gross. All right, Servo. I want to see if we can upgrade you. Engage hover mode? What the hell is hover mode? There are so many things that I have. You can fly? He can fly. She can fly. Um, we are gonna change the dirty diaper because your mother is trying to sleep, child. Shh. Be quiet. Okay, you go sleep as well because you both have university tomorrow and you need to get your sleep on. Whereas Joanne, um, she has work at 11 a.m., which is nice. Also, one of you guys, I'm so sorry, I can't remember the username, but one of you said, why don't you get Servo a little sleeping pod? And I did, because you said it was a little bit weird that they just slept in a bed. So I got her her own little sleeping pod. And then one of you guys also said, why don't you have Servo room with Joanne? I can't believe it has a hover mode. That is sick. Um, check enhancement progress. 21, okay. So what I am gonna do is read the Vampirica. Oh, it's just cleaning up for me. Love how she just does that. I think it's cause she has the neat trait. So she just kind of cleans up here, there and everywhere. Joanne, you should probably get to sleep, girl. I know you're not very sleepy because as always your trait is messing you up and you basically still have the, uh, the freaking sleeping schedule of a university student even though you have graduated honestly playing on this screen just makes me want to zoom in like it looks so pretty you guys have no idea if the text is like too small for you though do let me know um because like i said i changed my monitors and it's 2k instead of being 1080 so if you need me to upscale the ui or anything like that let me know because that's the thing that we can now do on the sims 4 i'm gonna clean this up and then i'm also gonna send you on to bed because i want her feeling bright and chirpy for tomorrow, her first day on the job, which I'm very excited about. I also kind of want to buy, which is why I didn't wanna, um, what's it called? I didn't want to pay my loans yet because I wanted to buy the robot baking machine because I was like, okay, a little side hustle. You know, we're all millennials now. We all understand the grind. We all know that side hustles are the things that make you money and people don't have hobbies anymore. You know, if you don't have a hobby that makes you money, although that's not a good, like, in your head, you shouldn't be thinking that. You shouldn't be constantly switched on and be like, how do I make money out of things that I enjoy? You should just enjoy them sometimes, I say, as I'm playing The Sims as a career. But you know, I have hobbies outside of The Sims. Who am I kidding? I don't. I wanna get into a hobby. I have a guitar sat there and I never play guitar. I don't know how to play it, but I'm like, maybe I should, maybe I should learn. Maybe I should learn a language. Maybe I should learn to knit. We all know that we're getting knitting stuff but I don't, you know, I just have these ideas. So I wanted to buy a robotics workstation. How much is this bad boy? Oh, it's only 1,100 simoleons. Oh my God. I thought it was gonna be so much more than that. So I'm gonna quickly stick this down here. I will be moving this. Uh, this is gonna be the kid's room when it ages up into a toddler, but you know, it's still a child right now. So that's fine. So I kind of want Joanne to continue building robots. Ooh, wait, we also need, it came with Selva Dorada and I wanna get like a little, 
selling table. I don't know, don't know what it's called. Um, is it under tables? I don't know. I've never used it. Um, selling. Ooh, ooh. I saw. Mm, I swear, I just saw. Oh, house plant. Food stall, craft sales table. Boom! She's so smart. This bright cherry table is perfect to house all your wares for sale. Stock up, tend, profit. I wish that like kids had a lemonade stand. I am kind of missed that from The Sims 3, but this is kind of like reminiscent of it. We're just gonna get this like kind of rundown one. Um, and so we're gonna stick it on the edge of the lot. Hopefully it can be used on the edge of the lot. It let me place it there, so I can't really see it being like, no, you're not allowed to use this. Um, but we can stick stuff on here. So if we view our inventory, there's nothing on the craft table right now, but we can like sell our party bot. Oh, and cool. Knowledge is power. Soberbot has added enough information to her database. So I'm gonna stop her from gaining a skill. So basically what you wanna do with your servos, life hack if you have a servo in your Sims 4 game, basically get them to learn the vampire skill. It's one of the easiest skills to level up in. And once they have reached enough to do another enhancement, have them stop because you don't wanna waste those skill points. You wanna keep working on those skill points so that you can unlock more enhancements, cheeky little tip for you all, you know, I am a Sims professional, that's what they say. And if we go to, ooh, uh, missing seven robot salvage parts, two common upgrade parts, and one mechanism. Can we do it on her? Conduct product survey. That's part of her career, cause she's an engineer, but I love how she can do that on her servo. Okay, so she can enhance it. So I'm just gonna have her sleep until she, her energy bar is full. And then I'm gonna have her enhance servo again. Who's asleep in here? Oh my, what are you doing? Why are you asleep? Also, I didn't put, I'm just realizing he looks purple cause I have purple over here. Like, I think I have these lights set to automatic. Auto light. I think I have this one set to auto light and the other one set, yeah. So she has like purple behind her. I wanted to do it like a nerdy gamer's room, um, but it kind of didn't turn out too great. Maybe I should do a different color. Maybe I should do like blue instead of purple. So let's do this light. I mean, it is blue. Well, that's fun. All right, so servos durability is going down and I do know that servos can die really easily. So we are going to, as Joanne, servo stop roaming around. We need to sort you out. We need to tune her up. Cause if we go down here to durability, it can be increased by having a sim with robotic skill, give a servo a tune up. Servos can also tune themselves up when they've reached enhancement level three. And that's the enhancement she is about to reach, but we aren't quite there like just yet. So we definitely need to get that sorted. Ooh. I just got an Amazon delivery. Don't worry, nothing exciting. It's a HDMI cable. So really not that interesting at all. This takes quite a while though. Um, so we've tuned her up and she is back to full durability. And then she, you can't stop her. She's just zooming around. She got the zoomies to clean. We can't stop it. Look, she's, whoa. That was like some Harry Potter shiz going up those stairs. Let's go to enhancement and we are gonna enhance our servo bar and see what level three can give us. Oh my gosh, she's only a parenting level two. You have not been taking care of your child in the slightest. And yes, you need to do your homework. This looks weird. This looks like you are having relations with a robot and she's already having relationships with like, what was his name? Eric, I think his name was. I still can't believe that we woohooed with a human. That is quite hilarious. We can't do like a pregnancy test or anything. I kind of knew that robots couldn't get pregnant, but it's kind of annoying. Like I wish that there were robot babies. 
I, I feel like Discover University is again like really great on the surface like it adds a lot don't get me wrong it's definitely one of my favorite expansion packs for The Sims 4 like it adds a lot to my personal gameplay but again I feel like a lot of it is quite surface level like having like robot babies or like them able to make their own robot babies would be really cool. Her system, oh, she's only a level two. That's a bit sad. Her system updates have reinforced her hull, slowing durability loss by 10%. She can also unlock new behavior modules. Behavior modules alter a servo's programming to prioritize specific tasks. Servo now has the ability to toggle behavior modules. To hoggle? <laughs> which allows her to ch turn newly unlocked modules on and off. What? That was a lot to take in. Unlock a new behavior module. Uh, robotic skill of level 10 is required to unlock this module. Well, can't she do that? She has work at 11. Right, I'm just messing with the servo. There's a lot of options that come with servo. I'm here complaining, like, they can't have babies. But there is actually a lot that you can do with them. Like, this is pretty cool. And, like, getting to explore this now, like, this late into the Let's Play is quite nice. We have eco-friendly tech. Name a better duo than Cold Steel and Mother Nature. With this behavior module, mechanical precision surprises any green thumb. So surpasses any green thumb so does that mean they're really good at gardening never hire a handyman again when things start leaking corroding and corrupting forget about it any servo with this behavior module will keep clocks ticking say goodbye to garbage spills and smelly toilets so basically you can have a cleaner you can have a handyman party machine into the ultimate party machine turn up the music grab a drink and you may as well just get a pot party bot for that behavior module allows any sim family to automate all of their child care needs in the, the way nature intended hell yeah and any server will be fully equipped to defend its softer squishier family members so that's like a protect and serve photo snappers party crashes and garlic bashes i mean we don't have any of those in this actually we do have party crashes they're technically not party crashes like they're not written into the game to be party crashes but i've had many a sim come to my um parties when they have not been invited wait did we just give her that then is she now i clicked on it and now i don't have the option Okay, so we're on Robo Nanny right now. We could technically unlock all of them, but I want her to be a Robo Nanny, so that's really cool. Oh, and tomorrow's Love Day. I love Love Day with these two. We can work from home. Oh my God, we missed our call because our dad called us. What the frick? I think I chose to work from home. Maybe I didn't. Oh my God, why did my dad do that? For God's sake, Quincy, he should know how this works. He is a freelancer. How freaking selfish do you have to be? I'm gonna bottle field this child, probably shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing it. Surely she has now the autonomy to be a robo nanny. So like, why is she not taking care of the baby? We are so sick. This is like one of the worst things that you could do. Be looking like this and be holding a very newborn child. Servo, can you come take care? Don't bike there. I didn't mean to do that. Just go over there. Servo, come and cuddle. It, this baby is gonna be terrified. Honestly, if I were like a week old baby and this thing comes traipsing over to me like mm, 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 I would be crying my eyes out too. I would be bawling and we have bills to pay and we don't have enough money for them. This is university through and through. <laughs> This is how on earth I wanted to send I wanted to work from home. I wanted to see what tasks she could do. I guess we're gonna be exploring that in the next part because my father was so freaking selfish, but I do wanna invite them all over today. Lionel, Omar, Quincy, and I guess our little brother is in school, so that's fine. We'll just ignore him, I mean. <laughs> 
I feel sorry for Jay. I like ended heyday like before he got his chance to shine. I mean, after four kids, you're kind of done with it. You're like, okay. We kind of explored everything on offer for kids in the game. <laughs> but Quincy is here, which is good. So we are going to go bright in his day and we'll also complain about our bills. We do actually need to pay our bills, but we need to do that once. Um, oh, I hate the dodgy hugs. Ugh. They make me feel so uncomfortable. Like, imagine actually hugging someone like that. Like, I am an awkward person, but no. We're actually gonna ask him for a large loan. This is really cheeky. I mean, our sister does have a good job. Let's see if he'll give us one. 2,000 simoleons? And <laughs> Quincy is losing it. No, um, what's his name? Omar is losing it. Omar's like, Quincy, why would you give her that money? But thanks, Dad. I can now pay my bills off, and I super duper appreciate it. We're also gonna gush about our partner because we love him. We love Jamal so much. Like, honestly, Jamal could do no wrong in my mind. But we're gonna have a deep personal conversation. We're gonna be like, Dad, I may have had a baby and I may not have introduced you to her just yet. All right, class for him. See, now he's going early. It makes no sense. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't do it. I want to grab the baby and like move her downstairs so that we can introduce her to everyone because you can just be like, ta-da, here is my fetus, my egg my duck egg you know so we're gonna move her down here and let's go show her off we are going to show off to quincy yates come on dad it's time to meet your grandchild for the first time these two haven't got old i feel like i need to make them old now that the girls are like graduating uni and stuff it feels weird that these guys are still only adults like i think i need to age them up into elders, which is so sad, but I think it needs to be done. Maybe in the next part, we'll have a birthday party for these guys. Maybe I'll go back and play the Heyday family. I don't know, but I kind of want to age them up into elders, or maybe we'll host a birthday party. Am I getting smart with you? How would you know? Why is Ted Roswell messaging us? That's really weird. So this is your grandchild. Thank you for just creepily staring at her. He's not even interacting with her, like, in in any way he's just like okay <laughs> sims 4 they just don't have any reactions i feel like oh bless you um i mean he took that quite well i'm actually quite impressed that he took it that well i thought quincy was gonna oh no he just wants to he just wants to go work you know life of being a freelancer always always at work i forgot that him and joanne have the same hairstyle now completely forgot about that so you are going to take notes and you're working hard why don't you just work normally no there's no need to work hard where's jamal oh i was like where is he he's in university molly you know what this whole let's play has been about i think i'm gonna end this part here though guys i mean i'm glad that we got to interact with servo a little bit more and we like managed to play with her behavior modules um we can also disengage hover mode no i love the hover mode we're gonna check our enhancement progress we're at 5.91 so i'm gonna have her read the vampiric volume one again keep working on her vampire skill and i will be back with you all in the next part if there's anything specific you would like to see i know i got like a couple of comments that said like i wish there was more drama in this let's play and honestly i do feel like that's on me i feel like i've been focusing like so much on getting good grades because i wanted to like get the uni experience like this pack is called discover university and I feel like we've done a lot of the clubs and shown off like the societies and stuff so right now it's kind of focused more on like families um but I kind of want to get Joanne a romantic interest so that might happen in the next part I don't know who though so if you guys have anyone in mind I know a couple of you have been thinking Cameron but like maybe like an old school sim like maybe we could have her 
Lilith Pleasant, perhaps, if they hit it off? I don't know. You guys should definitely let me know if there's any drama that you would like sprinkled into this Let's Play, then please do let me know. And I think we're also gonna host a birthday party for at least Omar. I feel like at least Omar should be an old man. Um, so yeah, let me know how you feel about that. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning into this part. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you aren't yet subscribed, remember to hit that subscribe button. And I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye, guys.